This is Banjo, and today I'm going over an introduction to the DCS World Editor with an example of how to create a free flight mission. Starting under the File Options, I'll select New Mission and Create a New Mission, which will bring up the Coalitions menu, allowing me to choose which country belongs to which faction. Move a faction to a new country by selecting it and selecting the arrow to move it to the new faction accordingly. Any country can belong to any faction. Taking a quick look at the interface used by the editor, we can see that numerous features are doubled up between the file bar at the top and the icons on the left hand side. I'll be using the icons on the left for this tutorial today. To create this free flight mission, first I'll add a new airplane group by selecting the airplane icon under objects. Name the group and set its country, in this case group A under US. Task can be anything you wish it to be. In this case, I'll leave it at the default of CAS. Select the type of aircraft being used. I'll select the P-51D. Skill will determine the AI skill unless set to client, at which case you can use it in multiplayer as a client vehicle. Set the default radio frequency used between aircrafts as desired, if available. Finally, left-click on the airfield you wish to spawn the aircraft at. It will be flying at a turning point of 2,000 meters, so be sure to set the takeoff from either ramp, runway, or parking hot as desired. Choose the parking stall you wish to spawn at with the park option. At this point, waypoints can be issued, but first we'll choose the loadout at spawn. In this case, I'll choose two HVARs and two 500 pounders. We can select new weapons by right clicking and removing or adding points as needed. This places the aircraft overweight, so we'll have to bring the internal fuel down to be just under max weight for takeoff. The final step under loadout is to choose the paint scheme the aircraft is loaded with at spawn. Finally, depending on the aircraft, you may have to set up radio frequencies, as is the case with the P-51D. Select the airbase to get the radio frequency for the ATC, and set the frequencies accordingly for the aircraft. Next, I'll repeat the process and add a second client plane to the mission so it can be used in multiplayer as a multiplayer free flight mission. Just like before, select New Airplane Group, select Skill to Client, select the airplane type you wish, the loadout, and place it at the airbase under the takeoff option you desire. You can add as many aircraft as you wish to the mission, but two will suffice for this example. At this point, I'll now start issuing waypoints to the plane. Select the plane and select Add. At this point, left click where you wish to add the waypoint. Select the type of waypoint. I'll be using turning points. As long as Add is selected, each left click of the map will add a new waypoint to the flight plan. For the third waypoint, I'll be using a type of landing. You may wish to edit a waypoint at a future time. To do this, select Edit and select the waypoint. At this point, it can be dragged around to a new location, or new information can be edited, as is the case with altitude and speed. With all the flight plans created for all client aircrafts, next I'll select the briefing option found under mission. You can create a briefing overview under the situation column, as well as define information which will be displayed to either OP4 or BLUE4 accordingly under RED and BLUE TASK. Date and time options are also set at the top of the briefing options. Next, selecting the weather tab which is found below the briefing tab, we can define the weather between two major categories, one being standard which has a number of parameters and presets and the other being dynamic, which has fewer options but generates randomized weather patterns. At the bottom of the weather tab we could see preset options which are found only in standard which will set the weather to a general preset once loaded. Mission options can be defined using the check icon found in the mission tab which contains a number of options including F10 view options which defines what view is available if you press F10 as well as labels, tooltips, and a number of other options. The final step in this tutorial will be to save the mission file by selecting the Save As option and defining the mission name under the folder you wish to save it in. 
In this case, I'll be using free flight example mission dot miz. You can now load the mission from the main menu under missions, or fly the mission using the fly mission option in the editor.